I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to get Google's Emoji Workshop working on your smartphone or tablet. The only requirement here is that you must have Android 13 or later installed on your device. At Google I.O. this year the company announced a new feature that it was bringing to Android 14 called Emoji Workshop. The idea is to give you the ability to pick a few emoji and then let the operating system create a unique wallpaper for you. I just recently did a video demonstrating the feature, so I won't be going into detail with today's video. Instead, I'll link to the one that I have already done for those who want to learn more about creating an emoji wallpaper. And you can find that link down in the video description below. This is a feature that Google is bringing to its Pixel devices running Android 14, but we can get this up and running on any smartphone or tablet that has Android 13 or higher installed. So to begin, we're going to want to go into the Google Play Store and then do a search for Google Wallpapers. This is a free application from Google that offers a set of wallpapers that can be used on any supported Android device. If you cannot find the Google Wallpapers app from the Play Store, or if it says that it is incompatible with your device, then you can simply sideload the APK from any source that you trust. Now, once the Wallpapers app has been installed, we then need to sideload the actual Emoji Workshop application. I currently trust a website called APK Mirror for downloading unaltered copies of APK files that I cannot install from the Google Play Store. And since Google has restricted the Emoji Workshop application, we need to sideload that APK. So I'll be linking to this page in the video description below. But if you have a different source that you trust for these types of APK files, then you'll want to download the Emoji Workshop application from there. Once downloaded, go ahead and install this APK just like you would for sideloading any other Android application. Even though we installed two apps, we're only going to see the Google Wallpapers application icon in our app drawer. With both of these apps installed, Let's go ahead and open up that Google Wallpapers app. And then we're going to scroll down until we find the Live Wallpapers category. Go ahead and tap on that. And you should see one single option here for your emoji wallpaper. Once we tap that, we are now brought to the Emoji Workshop application. The interface will work exactly the same as I showed you on my Pixel 7 Pro that's running a beta of Android 14 right now. The only differences that I saw is that there seems to be a bug that doesn't preview the emoji wallpaper properly. So even when we change and add emojis to our box here, the preview does not reflect that properly. However, we can still use the randomize button to get a random assortment of emoji pattern or color. And once we choose the emoji that we want, we can still choose our pattern and our color just like we could before. It just doesn't reflect the changes up here in the preview image. We're going to tap on the checkbox button at the top right and then select the set wallpaper button. 
Now we can choose if we want this on the home screen or the home screen and the lock screen. We're just going to set it to the home screen for now. And you can see that the wallpaper we created will be applied correctly. The preview issue that I just mentioned could just be a bug that is happening because the app isn't technically made for Android 13, but we could see this fixed in a future update. The emoji workshop does work on this older version of Android though. Even if we can't preview the wallpaper while we're creating it, you can see the animations still react to our swipes. So there you have it. That is how to install the Emoji Workshop application on any Android 13 device and how to set and create a Emoji wallpaper with the side loaded application. If you have any questions about this process, or maybe you ran into an issue side loading one of these applications, then feel free to leave a comment down below, and then I'll do what I can to help out.